Today I need one of my brave souls to raise their hand to read that math learning target. Evan. I can recognize and generate equivalent fractions using visual fraction models. Well done, sir. All right, guys, so help me out. What does that mean? I can recognize. What's a synonym for recognize? Austin. Do you like expand it or you can do it on your own? Okay. Who else has a synonym for recognize? Shamil. Like you see it and you can like identify what it is. Awesome. I think identify and recognize are fantastic synonyms. What about the word generate? Henry. It's like me to make it. Let's try those two words in that learning target and see if it makes sense. I can identify and make equivalent fractions using visual fraction models. That makes sense? Okay. But what is an equivalent fraction? JT. Uh, like, it could be like two thirds and one sixth. Okay. Are those equivalent? Yes. How would you know? What does it mean to be equivalent? Brayden. It has to be like the same. Okay, they're worth the same. And then the last part says using visual fraction models. Does anyone know of examples of visual fraction models? Morris. Like the circles on the board. Okay, those circles on the board. What else, Mariana? Uh, you can draw a rectangle and divide it to equal parts. Excellent. Austin? You could just keep it the way it is, like one line and then the, um, the, um, you could just keep it like one half, like, you know, it's a one, a line, and a two. You could just keep it like that. As a line. Awesome. Okay, so guys, who cares? Who's going to use this? Why do we need to know this? Gianna. This is not really a good educational answer, but um, if you're having a birthday party and you have like two pizzas, you have to divide it for 20 people. Uh, if you don't know fractions, then you won't be able to divide it, and then so one person is just going to have to get one pizza. I love that answer. I think that's a great educational answer. Who else? Morris? If you don't have any paper. You need to just be able to recognize it. Okay. Anna Lydia, did you have one? Okay. So just now reading this learning target, I want to know where you are you in our understanding. If you're a one, that means I know what the learning target is, but I can't do it. Two means I know what it is and I can do it if you help me. Three means I can do it on my own. And four means Mr. B, you can go get some coffee. I can teach this to the class. When I count to three, I want you to just show me on your fingers right in front of your chest. Are you a one, two, three, or a four? One, two, three. Awesome. Fantastic. As we move into math, I want you to be thinking, what is it going to take for you to get to the next level? The goal is not always four. If you're a two today, let's get to a three. Capiche? Oh.